Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the CMA Game Show! Here's your host, Susie Starliner! Hi everybody, welcome back to the CMA Game Show! I love you too! Mwah, mwah. Let's welcome our new BFF, Bucket of Fish! Hey, Bucket of. What's going on, people? Welcome How you doing, Susie? Well, I, I have a cousin named Susie. I'm just going to call you Flesh Susie, okay? I like that. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of flesh. Yeah, you do. Mm. Yeah, well, you do. Well, the, the CMA Game Show is all about creativity. So we need you, the contestants, to show us how it's done. So express yourselves, release and go, attack the flow, and work it low for creativity! Y'all should have seen that from my view. I Jealous? Our first ga team game is a team challenge. <laughs> Contestants will travel to a special location where they'll be taking their creativity to the next level. Let's bring up our team leaders, Columbus Funny Men, Brian Kaufman and Josh Gandy. Josh Gandy. Hi, boys. Nice food. Uh, practice that intro. Hey. This is going to be great. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> this is first Guys, time we got house. a lot of fun playing tonight. But first of all, we need some contestants up here. OK. The box. <laughs> what a bag. Uh. Ow. Okay. Al Bernardo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Larry Doyle! <laughs> Colleen Dale! John Allen! Come on up, dude! Aaron Danky! Brandon Balliger! Balliger? <laughs> I couldn't Great! See. He has a beer. He has a beer. Security. Welcome. So Let's you're going to form it. into two teams, it. Brian and Josh. Just hurry. Just Bucket of loves high five. Yes. Mwah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's how it goes down. You guys down with the malarkey? Yeah. Tell us about, tell us about the game. Well, Susie, <laughs> as you know, creativity can solve most problems. That's why tonight we're taking the creativity out into the community. That's why we call this game Community Capers. Community okay. Capers. Okay. Okay. Road trip. That's right. We're going to be designing playground equipment for a new park coming up in Franklinton. My group will be traveling to Junction View Studios. They're a hot box of creativity. And my group will be traveling to Boxy Bluebird Studios. Never That's heard weird. Of that one. That's weird. Never I never. Heard of that one. Well, I don't well, think that really. You, let me tell you a little bit about them. They are Columbus's newest never profit art facilitators. Wow. <laughs> You just made that up. Sounds great. <clears throat> well, you guys had better 
better get moving because you're on a really tight schedule and we're going to expect a lot from you at the end of this episode. Let's do it. And using the, uh, the miracle of modern technology, we'll be able to see what the contestants are doing via video phone. What? We'll be checking in on them periodically. Oh, so let's get going. All right, guys. See you guys later. You follow Josh. You guys will be fine. You guys will be fine. Let's get some new contestants up here for another game. Let's do it. Bring out the cage. Thanks, Portia. Love your outfit. It's very dimensional. Almost as if it's from another dimension. Annette with no last name. She's from Grandview and her favorite hobby is her occupation. We don't know what it is. Oh, she's a sex toy tester. Ah! <laughs> do you does, do, do that pay taxes? Do you pay taxes is with that? that? Is, is that, that under the table? <laughs> Luke Woods. That is a poor well, name. He's an excitable boy. George Bird. Come on up. He's a, oh, he likes to shower in the nude. You gotta what a button. weirdo. Oh, yeah. Let's get one more Do up it. here. Do it. Don't touch me. Two teams. Phil Riddiger. <laughs> Rid Denver. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Sounds a lot cooler than another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we got two teams here. Two and two. Do you guys like comedy? Okay. Well, we're going to do a little more improv led by Jason Sudi of Fake Bacon Production. Yeah. 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 Hey, Jay. All right, everybody. Hello. All right. This is a game called Audience Sound Effects, and it's just like it sounds. I'm giving microphones to the folks from the audience. And what you guys are going to do, oh, a lot of kinks. A lot of kinks. We're working through. Very kinky. All right. What you guys are going to do are you're going to do the sound effects for everything that Mike does, right? So let's say that Mike is about to chop down a tree. You guys might make it sound like... Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Let's give him a hand. Wow. Bless you. Pretty good. Okay. Now, let's say Tyler was going to walk on a giant marshmallow to go to sleep. It might sound like... Yeah, it's probably pretty good. Let's have a big hand. All right. Hey, Bobby, can we get that other microphone out here? I'm going to give it to these guys. Bobby? Can I grab that one more microphone? Thank you very much. Okay, now let me get one more thing from you guys. What is your luckiest or unluckiest day you've ever had? What was it? Tax day. Tax day. No, like that's that's inevitable. Something weird. Unlucky. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> All right, what's your unluckiest day you've ever had? What happened? You got what? Say it again. You got pregnant. Okay. <laughs> she got <laughs> pregnant. Okay, now here we go. These guys are going to do a scene. Now remember, everything that Mike does, you guys have to do the sound effect. Everything that Tyler does, you guys have to do the sound effect. And the theme is this one, young woman's pregnancy. Here we go. So sad. Honey, it's time to open up the box that contains the pregnancy test. Oh, dear. Here, I'll do it. It's so windy! Let the fog settle first, dear. It's billowing out. I, Let I'm me blow it away. You're not blowing hard enough. Let me get the fan okay. from this cabinet. <laughs> I've been practicing my slow cabinet opening for you. Honey, you do a great job. <laughs> also, I 
installed the automatic cabinet closer. <laughs> Love you. You're so handy. Let me just plug this in. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, zipper came undone. <laughs> I don't mind at all. Honey, we have to stay focused. Excuse me, dear. You're lucky I still have this fan, which I will turn on right now. <laughs> Honey, I think you plugged that into the imaginary wall socket. Plug it into the real one. You know, I got distracted with my zipper coming down. Understandable. I just, I just poked a hole in the drywall. <laughs> this is the real light socket. Yeah! Oh, honey, are you okay? No, I'm pregnant! <laughs> Woo! And have a big hand for Tyler and Mike. Thanks, everybody. Very nice. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Brian. You all did such a fantastic job. You all get a prize! Da -da 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 -da. You get a you get a prize from the CMA Museum Store. A great place to find creative gifts for everyone on your list. Go do some shopping. That was exciting. Thanks, everybody. Go back to your seat. Get out of here. Oh, you got a bunch of mustaches. Nice. Oh, now I think. Cherish those. Don't lose them. Thank you. It's time to check in with our teams from Community Capers. Game show. We made it safe, sound, happy. Larry got him on the weave. His favorite food is Jerry Styles chicken. Who knew that? John. What? <laughs> climbing apparatus. Uh, these are all about 200 feet tall, just to scale. So it's like. A redwood forest. Bad in. Is this so like, it's like a, sponsored a by Boost Mobile or something? But like double slide. Sorry about the connection. The video We're thinking of naming it Awesome Town. Awesome Town, great. Leaders lead by action. Tiered climbing apparatus. Swings around, you can fall off anywhere, get back up. It's all about soft landing. We want the kids to have a safe place to go. He has um, girl hands. For, you know, for fun. For summertime, for wintertime. Yeah. Girl, <laughs> girl hand. Well, let's see how the next team's doing. Looking pretty good. Uh, hey, game show. Um, just doing a little video check-in here. We're out driving. We're looking for this uh, boxy bluebird place. Um, the directions you guys gave us were were actually really poor, um, and we can't seem to find it going to be a good evening, uh, the way this is going. I think they're lost. Oh, man. She doesn't have her seatbelt on. Um, well, I think, I think this might be it. I don't think this Does is. this look right to you guys? Mm, I don't, I don't think this is it. You don't think this is it? Okay. No, it looks kind no. of abandoned. Yeah. I think I see like where we're supposed to go we should we should probably just maybe we should check it out I mean okay um, hey. I think they're using a razzle you gotta pay the video phone bill I just, I, I just wanted to have fun I hope they made it is that a bridge? Oh my god. I know it looks kind of bad, but I think it's Are they in the woods? I mean, we can't let those kids. I mean, do you want to let those kids in? I've seen this movie, it don't work out. Well, it's not looking good for Brian's team. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Vince Vice here to introduce to you a guy. Oh, it's Viking Chris! 
happening. Hey, Viking Chris. Hey, so the, I'm back, and I'm here for a reason that you know about. Why is he talking which like that? Which is an arm wrestling rematch. A rematch? That's you right. You are on. Why is he talking Prize like girl, that? get over here. We're going to need a table. All right. Oh, doggy style. I get it now. Doggy All style. All right. It looks like Susie Starliner has him. Oh, Viking Chris. Nice pose. Oh, no. Viking Chris goes for the reach oh. around move. Viking Chris is victorious. Let's have a round of that's, applause for Viking that's Chris. That's cheesy. That's a girl, man. That was a. I don't think she's. I don't think she's okay. Good thing I brought my own announcer. Now listen. I come down to this backwater finger paint museum for two reasons, and two reasons only: to win back the world heavyweight championship smack talking belt partner, Mandragon, got snagged by the TSA in Tijuana. What? Sounds like Viking Chris needs a new tag team partner. Are there any sassy divas or tough guys from the audience who could fill it? Well, let's, let's get some new contestants Cage. up here. We need some contestants for Smack Talk Smackdown with Viking Chris. Cam Sexton. She's a hoarder, but that's only because she's a teacher. <laughs> Goes with the territory. Sue Bice. Ooh. Sue is looking for a man. How did you get up here again? Oh, you were probably a partner. Okay, that's not cheating. <clears throat> Maybe. Not sure. And Nate George! <laughs> hey, uh, Nate. You are a it big says guy. here you can touch your nose with your tongue. Could you show the audience? That's disgusting. That's disgusting. It's okay, Viking Chris, what do we need these guys to do here? All right. Listen up, you bunch of lily-footed flute flunkers. You got to do one, two, three, four things if you want to be in the ring with Viking Chris. Now, here's number one. You got to come up with a pro wrestling name. Number B, you gotta come up with a pro wrestling costume. And four, you gotta come up with a smack talk to top all smack talk insults. You think you can do that? Not promising. Okay, contestants, you got that? You're trying to be Viking Chris's. You need to be his new tag team partner. Now create your wrestling character's name, outfit, and one really good insult. Something that could match Viking Chris's legendary talent for Smack Talk. You have three minutes. Are you ready? Go! I gotta get dressed. There's a lot of spandex here. Viking Chris, let's use this chance to practice those world-renowned Smack Talking skills. What do you say, Viking Chris? Practice. My King Chris doesn't need no practice, but maybe there's someone out here who could use a little practice. First of all, how many mamas we got in the audience? Get a real job. Now let's see. Everyone show your Viking Chris memorabilia if you've been signed tonight. Yeah, that's right. Look at this bunch of pencil pushers. <laughs> look at them. They look so much better with my signature signature. That's correct. Viking Chris, let's see those smack talking skills. Why don't you select someone from the audience to practice them on? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Who we got here? How about this college kid right here? 
You look like a light-footed pencil pusher. What do you have to say to that? I say, uh, I'm as buff as that. <laughs> That's quite a challenge, can it, Cash? Hmm. We Let's need somebody it. to defend his honor. Somebody give me somebody give me a crack on Viking Chris real quick. Who got a good one for Viking Chris? Who got a good one? We got one right down here, Falcon Fish. I'll kill you and hide you under my mattress like drug money. Wow. That's illegal. That's illegal. That's pretty good, except That's illegal. <laughs> you can't fit no muscles or guns like this your under your mattress. What's your name, sir? Uh, Logan. Logan, I need you to attack Viking Chris, okay? Right now. Do it. Do it! <laughs> oh, I'm drawing a blank here. <laughs> Sounds like a redneck He's uncomfortable me. with the mic that close to his mouth. He's uncomfortable. It sounds like that contestant can't handle the Viking Chris thousand yards. We've stare. only got about 30 seconds. All right. Now remember, you need Def a name and an insult. Defend your, defend oh, boy, Vince. You're, you know you like mics close to your mouth like this. You're volunteering, you have one? All right. I like that color. We got one for Viking Chris. Pop those muscles like bubbles. That was a waste of time. I, I apologize. Oh. That was a waste of time. I apologize. That's my fault. I should have never gave him the microphone. That's my fault. Ten. Mm. No. Nine. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Game show! Wrestlers, come to your places. Well, everyone. Oh, boy. All right, wrestler number one. What's your name? I am Zivarin von Nonno. I don't speak French, so we're gonna go to contestant number B. French? I am the Crusader of Pain. Ooh. Ooh. All right, contestant number C. Powerhouse Pam. Get him. Get him. Not bad. Well, I don't know. I've seen better costumes for pro wrestlers on children. I am sick and tired of hearing this garbage coming out of that ridiculous bearded head of yours. That is why tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I have brought you the trash talking champions of the world. Let them hear it for Volcana and Cheeto Los Fuegos and Fiora! Oh my goodness! Swagos! Oh my goodness, that just happened. Viking Chris, you think you're tough? Well, I was playing bridge with your Nana last night and she told me that you still wet the bed. Uh, you're nothing but an overgrown, sloppy talking, rubber undie wearing bed wetter. <laughs> sounds personal. Contestant Baron Vaughn, defend my honor. I will nom you into a submission. He sounds vegan. What do you? He sounds you vegan. Viking Chris, you call yourself a Viking? You ain't nothing but a scared little furball of a kitty cat stuck in the underbelly of a sunken schooner. Oh. Why you couldn't smack talk your way out of a preschool class of redheaded stepkids? Oh. oh my goodness. Contestant number B, defend my honor in the ring. You are so wimpy. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I, she is going to. I got a six pack and a 12 pack. And you got nothing. Double nothing. Pack. <laughs> this happened. Mike and Chris, I got to tell you, you are so ugly. If I smashed your face in a big ball of dough, I'd make some gorilla cookies. Oh! Oh! All right, contestant number four, give them a best shot. Do I defend your honor? Defend my honor in the ring. 
You look like you have a Halloween costume on, sir. Oh. Viking Chris, you must have been born on the highway because that's where most accidents happen. <laughs> no, she didn't. You're so dumb, you think Johnny Cash is a pay toilet. Your muscles are soggy, your hair's made of yarn, your wrestling's weak, and your trash talk is sad. You will never be half the tough guy your Nana is. Oh, no. His Nana is tough. All right, Ooh, Viking Chris. Oh, my God. How can you defeat this That's opponent? A, Viking yes. Chris is shoved down the stairs. Yeah, great form. Viking Chris takes a shot for some extra power. Oh, the bottle slam beer? misses. Viking Chris gets pushed back. Oh, my Volcana God. Volcana gives him a nice knee kick. She does yoga. Viking Chris is kicked out of the theater. I'm pretty sure she Oh no, over. let's hear it for, let's choose the number one of the three tag team opponents. Let's hear it for contestant number one. Let's hear it for contestant number two. Oh my goodness. Let's hear it for contestant number three. And the winner is contestant number two. Congratulations. I think we've got a winner. What do you think she's won? Mystery da, box. Da, 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 da. Mystery box. A shake weight. Whoa. And a gift certificate for five free awesome. yoga classes to Burn Studio in Gahanna, Ohio. Burn Studio provides a fun and funky studio that focuses on mixer classes and will literally make your muscles burn. Wow! Congratulations. Great All job. Yours. Great job. You can keep that. She did it. Uh, should we check back awesome. in? Should we, should we check back in with Community Capers? Yeah, let's see what's going on with those guys. Oh. Hopefully everything's okay. We're back. Junction View. We had a great time. It was so much fun. Brandon, let us know what you added to this. Um, well, you saw the double slide. Here. We also have a little zip line that's got a plane on it. Kind of goes back and forth to shuttle people over to the swings. Wow. Pretty cool. Last check on us, Larry, with the weave action. Did some more weaving, turns out. Yeah, what we got? There's this weave that I did here. You climb up to these uh, climbing apparatuses. And then uh, once you're on the slide, you go into this box. Sorry. Apparatus right Video here, phones. but also we've got uh, this tiered system. We got these swings. These hold about 30 kids each. They can just crash into each other, try to knock each other off into the pit. That is obnoxious. Fun. That is. That's what we did. I think the kids are gonna have a great time, and uh, definitely killed that other team. So. <laughs> sure did. That was obnoxious. Sure did. Let's see how. Uh, oh. So yeah, we. We didn't find the the place, um, and it's it's getting really dark. We're you said yeah. So uh, yep. This way. What? That? What's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Shit. Ah! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. All right, well, but, uh, I mean, are you okay? No. Did we I think if we go this way, I think we can get out over here. Oh! 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 oh. Right, right girl down. Uh, oh. Um, Susie, I'm so sorry. Game show, so sorry. Mom. I love you. Uh, it's gonna be okay. Oh! <laughs> uh. Oh. Shoot. Um. That's. Well. Um. That don't look positive. That's, that's not how we wanted things to turn out. <laughs> I think I know. Oh, shoot. Oh. 
Hey, that's kind of my fault. My bad. Um, what? I think my pet murderous sock monkey might have got out. Um, Minton, and I think they kind of conjured him up just now. Um, uh, bad news. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's on his way here right now. Uh, <laughs> Oh, shoot. Minton! Get, get up here, man. Oh, come on, man. What are, why would you, what are you doing? You can't, I told you they're very touchy about murdering white people in this dimension. What are you, what is wrong with you? What is going on? You gotta tell me something. I understand you lonely, but murdering people is kind of counterproductive. I don't... <laughs> All right, listen. M Minton has cut up body parts in an attempt for to find a best friend. Uh, he's looking for somebody to build him a best friend because he's very lonely. Um, my bad. Uh, I think we... Why would I you think we better get some contestants up here to make a special friend for Minton. Why would you do that? I don't understand. Why you do that? Did you turn the lights off? I don't want my light bill being hot because of you. Cheaters. Jessica Struder. <laughs> Bob. Rosenblum? Wait. Are you better than a cheater? Girl, don't you threaten me with a good time. You better stop. Like Scott Lyon? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Girl. He likes cheese. Oh, yeah. That's a good spot right there. You should keep doing that. Bob. You should you keep are doing very that. Naughty. Oh, yeah. That's my spot. He likes to roll. Katie Eisel. It's the ring at the bottom, isn't it? She likes to read. Weird. Oh, yeah. Good. That's my spot right there. I like that. She touched okay, me. Okay, contestants, well. each take oh, She's about to get oh. up there for a minute. Uh, can you reassemble these chunks of guts and dismembered body parts to create a special friend for Minton? Now, what you're going to need to do is combine the body parts oh, creatively right. to make the kind of friend that will keep Minton from murdering us all. You, you've got this tape here. His hands and, these and guts. everything. Combine them. And you've got just two minutes. Are you ready? Go. His hands Our and lives everything. depend on it. That is disgusting. Oh my goodness. His head's in there. Watch out for Minton. Hey, let's get to know some audience members. I want to know some people. Let's meet some people. Oh, there goes Kiki. How you doing? There you she right? goes. What's your name? Oh. Abby. Oh. Amy. Abby? You kind of a a mix between stuff. You're not normal. What is you, what you made of? You a straight like one? Like you're not made of you like like mixed with something? Are you, are you okay? Oh. Yo, she said I'm white. <laughs> you a white girl? That's an exotic looking white girl. Sir, where did you get your white woman from? <laughs> I'm thinking about getting one. I don't know where they be at. Don't judge me. Oh, that's his white girl. Oh. That's your twin like sister. We've got a leg Somebody here. won. Oh, a brain. No, She's I'm, attaching I'm the brain to her body. Man. I'm playing. Don't laugh that hard, ma'am. That's rude. Uh. You having a good time, man? Sure. You sure? You kind of look kind of frustrated over here. You all right? I'm okay. You want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. <laughs> you sure? What's your name? Now remember, Minton doesn't like normal people. Yeah. Mary? Yeah. What's your occupation? So you better Mary? make one he does like. I'm trying to get to know you. Don't fight it. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. I forget. You forget what you do for a living? You've only got about one minute. That's nasty, a little bit. You're a, little, you're a little freaky, Mary. Mary's a little freak in her. 
Mary got a little freak in her. Uh. Oh. Help we. My hoop. Let's get to know some other people. If you don't hurry up, we might all get murdered. What's going on? How you doing? You all right? You look good. Hey. Ooh. He What's your name? Intrigued. Eliza. Eliza, you kind of stiffed up when I put the microphone in your face. You all right? This one, it looks like you this don't like woman microphones in your face? Had, a, had nice, a nice wardrobe. I want to talk to you then. What about you? <laughs> good. That was good? You comfortable? I picked that one. You lost your white what woman, sir. fish doing out there? He's such a ladies' man. Or whatever he is. What about okay, you, man? Okay, you've got about... How are you? 20 seconds. You're sitting by yourself. <laughs> Why are you, you're lonely. We don't want that. Ooh, okay, how you been lonely? You want somebody to play in your hair? Because I can get somebody to play in your hair. Play in your hair, yeah. Well, um... Y'all don't, don't play in hair in this dimension? You like doggy style? Looks like... I like what's going on over here. She's using her Do own you like body. doggy style? I love doggy style. But I'm all about hot dogs. Like hot dogs, body. bitches. Ooh. Hot dogs. That's right. Wow. Okay, you got ten seconds. Ten. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Game show. Okay. Great job. You're gonna need to tell Mitten why this. You know, just tell them about your friends. Tell them about your friends. Oh. Um, <laughs> this is Mindy, and she wants to be your baby mama. Oh, goodness. Mindy and Minton, what do you think? Well, say, what do you have going on over here? Okay. I volunteer as tribute. He seems excited. He seems excited. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Okay, tell us about woo, your friend. This is Bob, and he's just head over heels about being your friend. No, he didn't like it. He doesn't like when his friends fall apart without his consent. Oh, thumbs up. <laughs> Ready for impregnation. <laughs> and we have a winner. Oh! oh, it looks like you get to be Minton's special friend. Great. Uh, good luck with that. Let's <laughs> see what you've won. <laughs> I hate when there's body parts all over this. Hey. <laughs> A Snuggie and a Sock Monkey made by Game Show's number one fan, Carol! <laughs> Thanks for coming out to the CMA Game Show! A murderous Sock Monkey. Have a great night! Exactly like mine's, except for mine's on ecstasy. Mine is a little bit, mine is on ecstasy, but yours is regular. You got a regular. Oh yeah, you welcome. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, he murdered somebody else. He's still murdering people. It's not good. It's, he's, still, he's still, he's still murdering people. Oh, showdown, uh-oh. Crazy. Oh my goodness. Not suit. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh. Hey, can you can you not do that? Can you I don't you're gonna kill everybody that knows. Oh, what are you Don't I don't I don't can you not you, you're killing everybody. We're not gonna have no friends left. Can you not do that? How we gonna? 
How are we gonna get a ride home if you kill everybody with a car? Well, don't leave her alive by herself. Be cruel. Be, be, <laughs> you have to be fair. Get her. Everyone, everyone, just go home. It's over. Just go home. I'm rooting Please. for the white girl to get got. I'm rooting for the white girl to get got. <laughs> That's it. That's oh the end God. of the game show. Go home, please. You gotta. He's gonna murder. Tell him, tell him, tell him the truth. Quit. <laughs> Quit. Don't kill everybody. You're just gonna lead a crazy white dudes who brought you here. Don't do that. Oh, that's not good. What the? What? Why? Not, why? How am I gonna explain this? Why? Nobody's gonna listen to us now. It wasn't supposed to. Look at this, look at this. We, now we can never come back to this dimension. Hey, I got a white girl's number and everything and now I can't even come back. I hate you, you 